his presence alone is seduction to a young man without a father. You look at him and he's everything you want to be. He's everything you see and you dream to be. And being around him, it's, 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 a, it's almost like a drug. You can't believe the place that you're at in your life and the things that you're doing and the cars that you're driving and the people that you're meeting. So it becomes, if I want to continue to feel this love and this power, I'll do whatever my dad wants me to. I can't accept in my mind that he never was a dad to me. So I love him for that. But at the same time, for what he did to me and taught me and how I see the world, I'll never be able to forgive him for that. Why didn't you just stop and say, Bishop, that's wrong? You're afraid to lose your father. You're afraid that if you tell him no, the support that he gives to yourself, the support that he gives to your family, and the support that he gives to you mentally, and the fact that you finally have a father that you've always wanted for and always dreamed of, would just walk away from you if you don't give him what you want. So you end up turning into something you never thought you'd be which is now a slave to a man that you love. If you look at us in our eyes and you hear the pain in our voice, we don't have a reason to lie to this man. I loved him and I'm always gonna have love for the things that he taught me, but how he left us hurt worse than anything I ever felt in my life. So while the media and the press and the rest of the people around the city or around the country look at us like, how can a grown man let another man touch him? What you have to understand is this man manipulated us from childhood. This was our father and we loved him. This man turned his back on us when he had no more need for us. That's not a father. That's a predator. We would have to be the craziest kids in the world to want to come out and admit to another man touching on us publicly. To really believe this is about money would be absolutely ludicrous. I cannot get the sound of his voice out of my head. And I cannot forget the smell of his cologne. And I cannot forget the way that he made me cry many nights when I drove in his cars on the way home, not able to take enough showers to wipe the smell of him off of my body. But that man cannot look me in my eye and tell me we did not live this pain. While you can sit in front of the church and tell them that you categorically deny it, you can't say that to our face. And you know this, you are not a man, you are a monster.